Stamford Bridge as the venue. I must say the weather has certainly cooperated. It's beautiful here today. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Chelsea up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Aston Villa will get the throw in. They might be able to get in now. Well, it all counts for naught. Harder. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Dali. Lehmann. This attack looks highly promising. But the danger averted for now. This could square the game. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And it's going to be a Villa throw. Alicia Lehmann. Chance to play it in. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Oh, that's a really good run. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory.
Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? That's a well-struck pass. Oh, good use of the ball. Now, who can she pick out? Ingle. Well read to put an end to that attack. Making progress. And let's give credit to the defending. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Brighton. This looks promising out wide. Cuthbert. Now here's Kerr. Went in strongly, decisively. Dali. And threading it forward. And there it is, a chance. It has to be, surely. And now she scored not once, but twice. Thoroughly enjoying herself out there. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Well, as you can see, Aston Villa have really dictated the play. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. A smart stop here. Short corner favoured. Offside the decision. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Not a good pass. Oh, fancy footwork. Real chance. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds, and that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked, and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. The first half here comes to an end.
And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? And it's offside. And I think in fairness, she ran a bit too soon. Harder. Lauren James. She's made a really important challenge. Can they hit on the break? Has eyes for goal. An alert piece of defending. Kenza Dali and Daly Mayumi Pacheco Hansen it might be oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but And deciding to go short with this one. Possession one. Sophie Ingle. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. 30 minutes to go then. Kirsty Hansen. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Can they put it away? Well, able to survive that attacking push. Good-looking sequence. And she's in the mood today. She's gone and made it a double. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And this is a brilliant finish. She had to hold off the defender, keep her balance and hit the target. That's a good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Mayumi Pacheco, fine sequence of passes. And she moves the ball with intent. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. And time for the change now. Corner kick played in. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. And they need to get tighter here. Well, not a great ball played in. Oh, big opportunity. Just couldn't get it through. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, could be. Oh, and it goes. Another goal. And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal.
Well, they get the ball rolling again, and Chelsea are giving this a real go. Sarah Mailing. Anna Patton. Allen. Lovely ball over the top. Alicia Lehmann. And now passing it through. And it's come off the keeper. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. They're really pressing their opponents. Good tackle, what can she do from here? Breaking at pace. How can they find a late leveller? And the electronic board delivers the news. Must score! Oh, it's unbelievable! Who saw this coming when there were three goals down? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes. Alicia Lehmann. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Magdalena Eriksson. Here's Kirby now. One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Sarah Mailing. Allen. Natasha Harding. Rachel Daly. Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think. It's oh, good. opportunity here, Stuart! The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. could do damage well 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 how many players would have the confidence to try that simply magnificent
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. Remy Allen. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Jesse Fleming. On to Ericsson. That's it. Half time in extra time. The second period still to come. And there it is, a chance. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. She's made a really good intervention there. A really sumptuous ball. Surely. And there it is. Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. That's how to rob them of possession. Neve Charles. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Great opportunity. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing there for all to see. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And she moves the ball with intent. A fine reading of the situation. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.